Hello, Mia. How are you doing? <laughs> so, so, what you can look at this effect of the electric field in terms of the influence that it has on particles that are in it. So, what the, the whole idea, and this is just so you can see how it's going to work. And so, this is a goal, and what you're trying to do is get this particle in the goal, okay? And you can like manipulate the location of positive charges. Now, the cool thing about this is that as I bring this positive charge closer, you'll notice that it does a nice job of indicating that the strength of the electric field is inversely proportional to distance. So as I close the distance between these two particles, that electric field strength becomes much greater. So the other thing that, that's going to happen is that how you define the direction of an electric field is what happens to a positive test charge if you put a positive test charge in that field. So it'd be like, OK, hey, are, are we on a planet that has gravity? I don't know. Maybe I'll drop a box of Clorox wipes. Okay. Well, if I see that box of Clorox wipes accelerate, I've got to conclude that we're in a gravitational field, even though we can't see it. So what this is doing is a nice visualization of saying, OK, hey, this is what's going to happen. Now, if I swap out a positive charge and put in a negative charge, okay, then that's going to indicate that, wow, if I, put a, if I have a negative charge in the source, then that flips the direction. So if it's a positive source, and, and when you're talking about electric fields, and this will be important once you get into the math of this, when you talk about the, the, the strength of an electric field, it's based upon what is creating the field, like what's at the center. It's kind of like what determines the gravitational field of the Earth is the mass of the Earth. It isn't based upon the mass of what I drop. So the same thing is going to be true here. So when you talk about the strength of an electric field, it isn't based upon the, the value of the test charge. It's based upon the strength of the field that's being generated by the charge that's creating that field. So here is about as simple as it gets. So I'm going to move this out, OK? So I'll drag this out, OK? We'll put this here. And uh, let me turn on the volume that's on. So you kind of get this nice uh, acoustic sound thing going. So we'll uh, do this, and then we'll hit start. And you get it. Yes. Ah, yes. 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 Nice. Now, so what we can do is say, OK, well, let's uh, reset this. And uh, we will clear everything. And we'll try level one, okay? So the idea being is that we can somehow get this around this and into here, okay? So, so does anybody here play soccer? Okay, Liza, so where do you want me to put either a positive or negative charge to try and get this thing to go in here? Below the Below the divider, a positive or negative charge? Huh? I'm deferring to bed. Bed? Yeah. Negative. A negative charge down here. Like there? Sure. Okay, so now we'll run it and we'll see what happens. All right? Wait a minute. Okay. Okay, so let's reset that one. Bruce, What's up? where can I put a positive or negative charge now that we've seen how it's going to play out? I can, I can eliminate that negative charge or I can put another charge somewhere else. Put a positive to the left of that negative. Like over here? Yeah. There? Why not? Why not? So what do you think is going to happen then? By putting that positive charge there, what do you think is going to happen? It's going to be repulsed. It's going to be repulsed. It's going to be repulsed. So it will be attracted to the negative, but yet repulsed by the positive? You'll put it on the right side. You'll put it on the right side or the left side? 
Bruce, this is your this is your charge. Where are you going to put it? Go for it. Left. Two positive charges. Eighteen. Wow. Yeah. 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 That worked well. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Woodruff. <laughs> Yeah. What can we do now? <laughs> we could move the positive charge below it. Like over here? Yeah. There? Below the below negative the charge. Blue. Below the negative <laughs> charge. <laughs> here? That's yeah. 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 We'll try that? Bro, this try is the whole one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try that. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. So close. You're we right. have created yeah. orbits. So close. Put them a little closer it's together. Yeah. Uh, 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 wait, what? Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. All right. We're close, though. Oh. Catherine. Oh, my God. What can I do? <laughs> you got this, Catherine. You got this. Well, we, can re we can. I can do anything that you want to do. Diagonally and, like, at the bottom. Positive or negative charge? The red one. A negative yeah. charge. Can we, can we move no, the no, obstacle? Don't, move. No, move the negative charge? Move the red. Move the red? Yeah. Which way? Diagonally to the right, the bottom. Yeah. There? Somewhere around there. There? I don't know. General, yeah, that's a lot. Try it? We'll try that. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, hold on. <laughs> How many okay. charges do we need? Oh, you, you, you can have as many as you want. Okay. 18. Ah. Right. Okay. So what? I, what I, I, okay. So put it back to where it was. But I just slightly adjust it. Like this? Yeah. Okay. And then put a negative one behind the goal. Put a negative one behind the goal. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. 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 Big, big, big brain. Big brain. Big brain. Right. So that's at least eighteen brains. Uh, <laughs> put the negative one lower. farther away. Okay. Yeah, put them yeah, put that one. Like here? Yeah. yeah. So by increasing the distance, what are you going to do Decreasing with the electric field strength? Decrease the force. Okay. Decrease the field strength. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, further. Further? Yes. Oh, you can move no. up. Though. Slide it down slightly. No. Down? No, no, no. Actually. Oh. There? No. Yeah. Actually, no, no, no. That, that, should, be, be, that should be fine. fine. It's good yeah. where it is. Uh, Oh. Okay, so close. Yeah, slide the, slide the right one down a little. <coughs> slide, slide which one? The right, right one. The right yet blue on the behind the goal. Down? Yeah, a little bit. Here? Yeah. Okay. Uh. <laughs> okay, he also slid it, you also slid it to the left slightly, so that kind of canceled it out. the first one, I hate the first blue one down. Yeah, move no, actually, not down, down that, 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 yeah. no. Yes. There? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Don't move it down, that will make it weaker. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, the red, the red one has to be slid over. Can we just drag the black dot and the third one? <laughs> so what do you want to do now? The red one left. Move what? Right? The red one left. Li little yeah. left. No, 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 no. It was misaligned. It was misaligned. It was misaligned. So like align it. There. <laughs> Centered. There. Centered underneath. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Can now move it further. Oh. Oh. This is why I'm banging. How, How many AP physics can we take? Okay. <laughs> I want to. Too many. Be honest. We're making this work. We just want to do the loop thing. Can I make a suggestion? No. We're doing the loop thing because we want to. Okay. So what do you want to do now? You said you were going to make a suggestion. No, no, no. You. You know. How about this? Maybe put, put one up here. Oh. There we go. Wow. What? <gasps> oh, you were failed. It didn't go in. It didn't go in. So move now we're close, up. though. So move, now move, move, move the negative one up. The one behind the goal. The one behind the goal. Behind the goal. Behind the goal. Yes, that one. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Just about there. That's the second one. Yes. I'll find out. Yes! Yeah. You may fair. Level one! Yes. Level one! <laughs> okay, now, with that said, okay? With that said, that's fun. Do you know Maze is Do we get to play with it? You guys got Maze House or worse? Bro, you listen to me. You have to be very nice. No, 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 we got Maze House. Okay, now! Oh, no. So, hold on. What level is this? 
Thank you. So this, <laughs> this, is one, this is the most complex one I've ever seen. So you have to watch the whole thing. So this, you, you saw how you all struggled with one barrier. Yeah. So this has two barriers. Okay? So this is like level of difficulty two. So notice we've got like a whole bunch of like random particles, okay, around. So here we go. <laughs> Completely off the screen. Was <laughs> 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 so that Michael and Corey? Yeah. So that one, it, it literally went completely <laughs> off the screen. So if you find a FET, it's a FET simulation field of uh, field of dreams, you can literally. It is amazing how much time you can waste trying to get this thing to go in there. So, I'm just going you know, we'll watch the video. I'm guessing you need all of Keaton. That was Michael. Whoop! 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 Off the screen! Back! <laughs> Yeah, she's trying to make it. She's not in the best. Or that she's not in the best. Or that she's not in I feel like it would be a complex. Ooh, Ooh, dynamite. Glass. Wait, what? I really We're not watching a dynamite glass video? No. 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 We will. Yeah, they made it's it. Not right now. Okay. okay. We're going to do our own dynamite glass video. There's like a million bucks. Yeah. Yahoo. Finance. Yahoo. Finance. Yahoo. Did I ever tell you what I said, though? Did I ever tell you that these are more fun? Like, what? unironically said that? <laughs> okay, so the one you got, the, so the lab that we're going to start today, and we're going to finish up tomorrow, involves this simulation, which does a phenomenal job. So, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you show all the values. And so, what you're going to do is, like, you're going to, you can drag, like, and this is one nano coulomb. So you're going to put a one nano coulomb charge there. Wow, that looks so cool. Okay? That was nice. And so there's a couple of things that make this, this particular program pretty cool in terms of the vision. So number one, you've got a positive charge. So notice that the arrows are pointing away from the center, indicating that if you put a positive test charge at any point around there, that's the direction that that positive test charge is going to go. Okay? So if you swap that out and you put a negative one in there, okay, then the field lines begin to point <laughs> inwards because that's the direction a positive test charge would go. So if you don't know what, like, what's at the center of that field, you put a positive test charge. Oh. If that positive test charge moves towards the center, oh, that means there's a negative charge in that middle. So it's kind of like what we did with, with you know, with the scotch tape or, or balloon or anything. So if you establish that, oh, this thing is negatively charged or positively charged, you put a positive test charge in it, and that's going to define that system. So the other thing that's cool about this is that you can also keep track of distance. So down here at the bottom right, they're going to tell you that each one of these big grids, or two of them, is going to be one meter. So we're going to keep track of distance. So you're going to come in here, like you're going to put, there, there's a whole bunch of, there's a whole series of things that you're going to do. And so one of the things that you can do is this is like your, this keeps track of some different things. So one, you can move this around, like uh, let's say for example, you want to move it a half way. So what that's recording is voltage. Now, Voltage, and we'll go through all the math here in just a second, but voltage is a measure of energy per coulomb. It's joules per coulomb. So what that is telling you is how much energy there is at that particular point in space based upon a, based upon a, a charge of one coulomb. So one of the things you'll notice as you drag this thing out is that as you go further and further out, the voltage drops further and further and further. Because here's, and we're going to spend a lot more time talking about voltage. 
but you can think somewhat of voltage as being pushing a ball up a hill. So if you have a positive test charge, and imagine that that positive charge in the middle is at the very top of the mountain. And as, so if you're going to push that positive test charge closer and closer and closer to the top of the mountain, it's gaining more and more and more potential energy because you have two positive charges that don't want to be near each other. Okay? So it's instead of like, if you're talking about potential energy of a rock, it would be like, oh, so many joules per rock, okay, or joules per kilogram, or however you want to define this, if you're pushing a rock up a hill. But because we're moving a positive test charge in that direction, we're talking about how much energy is stored. So you'll notice that as that energy gets closer and closer, or as that particle gets closer and closer and closer, you're storing more and more energy per unit of charge. Now, the other thing that you can do is if you click on the little pencil there, then it draws a line of equal potential. Okay? So just like if you study uh, like weather and you have like isobars, lines of equal pressure. So these are lines of equal voltage. So you can plot this anywhere that you want, okay? Go further and further out. Now don't sit there, and I had one kid do this. And I don't know why, but he got really, really bored. Was it Jason? No. <laughs> Jason did this where he clicked all of them. Yeah. <laughs> it might have been Jason. But anyway, somehow or another, you can get this thing to like move just a little bit, and then uh, you can go through and just make it like all green. I think Jason did do that. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jason complained because he didn't have his lab done, as I recall. <laughs> So, anyway, don't do that unless you're real. I don't know why you want to do that, but don't. Uh, I like green. Well, I'm happy for you. you know, green is a creative color. And then you can also come in here. Green is not a creative color. Well, how far away is it? So, those are the tools that you've got. And uh, so, with that said, now we need to go through the math question of the yeah. Why is it always math? Math. Oh, oh, oh no, not math. Oh. It's actually math. It's actually a mispronunciation. It's actually math. It's actually a mispronunciation. Oh, here. Alright. Oh, oh, I don't think that's me. I am definitely I assume this lab's not supposed to take that long since it's on a Wednesday. Oh, huh? they said we're working on it today. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, there's no way we're getting done today. <laughs> It's a possibility. It's a good thing. That's what I would say that this part of the There are basically three things. What was the name of your I should call you the end of the that KQ. Yeah. Call me <laughs> okay, so there's three ways that you can look at the strength of an electric field, okay? So this is the first one that you're going to look at in terms of, this is the easiest one to understand conceptually. So this is just K, which is that constant that you're going to use in, in your calculations. So 
That has units of newtons, meters squared over coulomb squared, okay, which is, you know, if you look at F equals KQ1, Q2 over D squared, okay. So this is the units that come out of K. Now, this Q is, and I cannot emphasize this enough, this Q is what's at the source of the field. This isn't the test charge, okay. So this is what's at the source of the field. So it'll be one unit. And then you divide by D squared. So if you look at what happens with the units, you got newtons meters squared over coulomb squared times coulombs divided by meters squared. So your meters squared are going to cancel out. You're going to drop out one of the coulombs to get newtons per coulomb. So the units work out to be newtons per coulomb. So that means it's a measure of force per unit of charge. Okay. Now, which is also why this equation works. So. E also equals F divided by Q. So this, in terms of units, is as simple as it gets. So you have your force measured in newtons. Here's your coulombs. Hey, look at this. You get the exact same thing, newtons per coulomb. So this one, though, typically how this one plays out, typically you're trying to find the force acting on a particular point. So usually this gets solved for F, and you get F equals EQ, okay, which just spells feck, and you think you're the first people to ever realize that, and it sounds funny, and you're not. Okay? Feck it. So you weren't special. it's newtons per coulomb. Here you go. Now, here's the other way that you can define the strength of an electric field. And this is the one that's, this is the one that's weirdest in terms of the units and the weirdest in terms of conception. So the other way that you can look at E is that it's voltage divided by distance, okay? And it's how far you are from the source. So volts is a measure of energy, okay? So volts are joules per coulomb. So you have joules per coulomb divided by meters. Well, if you go way back into the dark recesses of your mind, joules are also newton meters. Okay, so then I've got newton meters per coulomb divided by meters. The meters cancel out, you end up back with newtons per coulomb. Oh so even God. though they, these equations look completely different, at the end of the day, the units are still going to be the same of newtons per coulomb, okay? but they look completely different. Now, so clearly with this one, if this is going to be the force, and like I said, typically this equation, I, I put it in terms of B, but typically with this equation, you're trying to find the force acting on a particular object based upon the strength of an electric field and a charge. So I put these all so that you're solving for E. This one is usually, though, is, it's just fact and it's FEP. Okay, so you got that idea. Now, the other way that you can calculate, here's, and this is on your equation sheet, but this is one of the equations that you're going to need fairly early on in the lab. No, it's just R. Oh, just R. I, I like, I like how you say it. Wah, 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 wah. So you see where I'm going to So if you want to calculate the voltage at any particular point from a point source, so you have K, 9 times 10 to the 9th, same thing you've always had. So again, that Q is going to be the point at the source, and then you're going to divide by R. So here's the difference. Voltage is just KQ divided by R, okay? E is KQ divided by R squared. So you have to keep those two, these, those two straight. Your electric field is KQ over R squared. Your voltage is KQ over R. 
you're going to get completely different results, mainly because one's going to be like a squared function, the other one's just going to be like an inverse function. So they have completely different things. Now, a lot of times what's going to happen, and this is what's going to happen in the lab, a lot of times you want to find the, a voltage in between like two charges, okay? So like you might have a positive charge here and a negative charge here, and you want to find the voltage at a point in between those. So your individual voltage is just kq over r. And if you look at what happens with units, you get joules per coulomb, okay? So this is a measure of energy per unit of charge, whereas electric field is force per unit of charge, okay? So one's related to force, the other one's related to energy. So if you look at what happens here, so if you, what's going to happen in the lab, you're going to have like a positive source and then a positive field, and then you'll have a negative one in, in the same area. And you want to find the voltage in between those two points. So what's going to happen here is that basically you're going to add these together. Well, basically all I did was factor out a K and say, okay, hey, that's a constant. That's not going to change. Here's the value of K. So then, this is going to be Q1 over R1 plus Q2 over R2 plus however many there are. Now, here's the deal. Because these Qs can be positive or negative, you can end up with a situation where you have no voltage in between. So what basically what that means is that there's, there, there's no energy at that particular point. Because it's kind of like you're at the bottom of a gravitational well. Okay? There is no energy at that point. So what you'll see is that the only way that can happen is if you have two positive charges, or if you have two, excuse me, the only way it can add up to equal to zero, I misspoke, if you have like a positive and a negative point source, okay, and you're right there in the middle between them. So if you have a positive and negative, you can have a situation where you don't have any voltage, because basically imagine that you have a positive test charge that's in the middle, and it really doesn't have any desire necessarily to go in either direction. But if you move it, then you do have a voltage. So you could talk about the sums of voltage at different points. Now, the same thing can happen with like an electric field. You could have electric fields that cancel out because you could have, oh, one electric field pointing in one direction and an electric field pointing in the other one. Or you could have both pointing in the same direction. So, as you go through this lab, I as it's like a four-page lab, okay? And this, we're just going to get this thing started today. There's no way we're going to get it done. So, you're not going to have any homework. So, as you go through the lab, there's some graphs that you're going to have to draw and some other things. So let me hand that out and stop that, and let me get the lab handed out.